finally tonight, we remember the Oscar-nominated film director and writer John Singleton, who died today after a stroke. Jeffrey Brown is back with Singleton's story and how his work inspired others who would follow him. Again, it's part of our Canvas series on arts and culture. No way you sweat me. You're my only son, and I'm not going to lose you to no bull. John Singleton's 1991 film, Boys in the Hood, set in his own hometown of South Central Los Angeles, told the story of three teens struggling to grow up amid violence and gang culture, a world rarely portrayed by Hollywood. He was just 24 years old and became both the youngest person and first African American to be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Director. He was also nominated for Best Screenplay. The movie served as a launching pad as well for actors with big careers to come, including Lawrence Fishburne, Cuba Gooding Jr., Regina King, and Ice Cube. Speaking at the Austin Film Festival in 2016, Singleton told of his determination to direct the film when meeting with executives. The interview aired on the PBS series On Story. They were testing me. They were saying, you know, hey, what if we tell you you want to buy your script and get somebody else to direct it? And I said, well, we have to end this meeting right now. And they're like, oh, you know. And I said, well, because I'm going to direct this movie. I'm a black woman, okay? I deserve respect. He would go on to direct other films with themes of racial and social justice at their center, including Poetic Justice with Janet Jackson, Baby Boy, and Rosewood, as well as a sequel in the Fast and Furious movie franchise. And he directed or produced many episodes of highly regarded television series, including American Crime Story, Empire, and Snowfall. Leading filmmakers and actors spoke publicly of his influence and support, among them Aver DuVernay, director of Selma, who wrote on Twitter, his kindness lifted me up. I remember him coming to the premiere of my indie years ago, showing love, support for a fellow black director from L.A. Producer Shonda Rhimes, creator of Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, and other series, wrote on Instagram that Singleton reached out to her when she was struggling in film school. He was kindly calling to offer me some words of encouragement, she wrote. He told me to keep writing. I never forgot it. In the 2016 interview, Singleton encouraged young filmmakers to follow their own vision. It's all about having that original concept and a genuine concept of where you're from. Your perspective and your POV, it may not be for everybody, but it's your perspective and it's valid. John Singleton, who struggled with high blood pressure, suffered a stroke on April 17th. He died in Los Angeles this afternoon after life support was withdrawn. He was 51 years old. And we honor his memory.